today we will start from a digital terrain model actually the usual one to learn how to reclassify raster data and to generate derivative data from a starting file let's see how we can do this this is the usual file of the uh, Veneto region of the Alps and the first thing we are gonna do is to create a slope analysis like we have do, done before so let's go to terrain analysis let's click slope the z factor is okay and let's click run it will take only a few seconds and we, it will generate the same file we have in the past with the actual slope so okay, uncheck this and let's query file we will see we have the slope using degrees so here we have a lot of slope here a bit less and so on so now we are gonna do a reclassification which is actually a way to generate another raster file using data from this and using classes of data to create for instance colors and so on so we can actually uh, think about uh, the, the slope and generate a few classes maybe we want to have red for the slope above 60 degrees orange from the 30 to 60 the mm, yellow from the 15 to 30 and then maybe uh, green for the one less than this okay now let's use a raster calculator to do that mm, I want to remove this so we won't have errors so let's create a new raster let's use the slope one band and let's save the file as um, the first uh, make call it DTM slope okay the output format will be a geotiff the spatial extent is okay and we will use the same output CRS than um, that we are uh, will um, that we will actually are using in the project so how this works here you can insert an expression to classify values the actual values are defined in classes and it's far easier to for me to show you how to do that i have prepared an expression which actually evaluates the slope band and assign one for slope between 0 and 15 two for one and uh, two for uh, values between 15 and 30 uh, three for 30 to 45 and uh, so on for and after doing that we will have um, five unique values here this will replace all the pixels in this the, the result will be five unique values let's click ok and wait a little bit okay perfect we now have the calculation completed and we have a new DTM slope with different values so as you can see and we have lost the tail we have posterized the data and we now can define a 
unique palette and we, we will click classify to generate values and then we'll change the color using an actually an actual ramp so here we can do it green uh, recent no okay let's define it as this so let's take this green the two will be yellow mm, greenish yellow the three will be full yellow the four are an orange and then the red one will be really red the, oh, okay we have reclassified the the raster so we now have all this information transferred to the file so if we click a, a point will be we will know this is a zone for slope here five so we can actually do um, queries more easily this is how to reclassify a raster data so we can generate derivative data from starting DTM for instance uh, but you can use this tool um, in a lot of ways so thank you for listening uh, leave me a comment if you want to know more and thank you again